Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles, and I'm proud to be representing today what I think is probably the finest 1980 GS 550 in existence. Uh, completely customized and built from the ground up by my friend Randy Fitzgerald. Uh, he put over 360 hours over the course of three years in this motorcycle, uh, and then we put another 30 hours into it. So there's almost four, uh, almost 400 hours of labor have been put into this bike for a full frame off restoration. He built it for his girlfriend, Wendy Perkins, who was the only one who's ridden the bike since it's been restored. Um, what they did over the course of three years is a complete labor of love, something that I can relate to. Uh, there's no way they'll ever get back even a fraction of, of what they've got invested in this bike. I have over $4,000 of receipts just for the parts alone. Um, we put another $760 of parts into it, so there's close to almost $5,000 in new parts and accessories put into this motorcycle. I can relate to it because I just not only do I restore motorcycles for a living, so I knew what I was looking at when I saw this bike, but I also restored this mill building here, the New England Motorcycle Museum mill building. We put over six million dollars into the project. It's probably worth six hundred thousand, uh, but um, that's the nature of, of uh, a late, these labors of love. Back to this bike. What Randy did is he took it and completely dismantled it, right down to the nut, final nut and bolts until it was just a frame sitting on the floor. Uh, and he started from there and rebuilt everything. The frame was sandblasted. Uh, then they put the um, primer coating on it and then several coats of top coat paint on it. So the frame was completely repainted. And then the engine was carefully dismantled and all the aluminum parts were uh, polished. The, all the gaskets were replaced on the entire engine. The um, complete motor was rebuilt, including the carburetors. I got a ton of receipts I'll show you for all the parts, like all, all the rubber seals all the gaskets everything's brand new in the engine and it runs like a top absolutely amazing running machine the um the uh, tires are brand new the brakes are brand new the fork seals are brand new it has a brand new quarter fairing on it new drag bars a lot of new nos parts like the switch housings are all brand new all the cables are brand new the levers are new the mirrors are new the bars are new uh, a lot of the rubber pieces on the bike this is an antique this is the first year uh, to be considered, excuse me, 82 is the first year considered to be an antique, 35 years old. This one's 37 years old. So to find a nicer one is pretty much, it's not gonna happen. Uh, this thing's absolutely gorgeous. Full frame up restoration, only 16,000 miles, uh, about a thousand miles on the restoration. So it, it is like a new motor, completely remanufactured motorcycle. Let me take it for a little rip. I'll give you a demo of it and then come inside and I'll go over all the receipts. Uh, we have full documentation on the motorcycle, including the registration and a Connecticut DMV title. Um, it's got a brand new battery in it. Uh, everything's new grips, and it's a stunning machine. It really is gorgeous. It has a brand new Mac 4 into one exhaust. We put that on there. Um, in addition to the Mac exhaust, it has brand new nitrogen charge upside down gas shocks, the brand new quarter fairing, which is matched to the motorcycle's original factory paint job. This gives you an idea how nice the bike was to begin with. Uh, it's original factory paint job, but Randy wanted it perfect for Wendy, and uh, he's done several bikes. If you look at the Maxim 650 we just sold, that was online, he did that one too. That was another bike that took him several years to complete full frame off restoration, working nights and weekends on it. So, and it's easy to see that, that you can put that much time into a bike like this, knowing that we put 30 hours into it ourselves, and all we did, we did was the final detailing, the exhaust, the, the um, full cosmetic detail, and a few other things and time you know just goes quick when you're working on bikes so why is that important well if you had to pay a shop to do it close to 400 hours labor uh, is, is an obscene amount of money um, if you bought it into a shop and a, a reputable shop like ours and said listen I want a full frame off on this bike um, and we did a time and material project like this with over 5,000 in parts and uh, you know uh, 400 hours of labor you're looking at a $40,000 restoration, which is completely insane. Uh, so this is a labor of love. This was do not done for a profit. It was done for his girlfriend. And Randy basically donated his time because he didn't get his money back out of it. So um, it's going to be sold with a low reserve, a uh, fraction of what's been put into the bike. So whoever buys this is buying a fantastic classic antique um, resto mod Suzuki 550. So let's, without further ado, hop on, we'll take it down the street. This has a six-speed transmission. Um,
inspection and it hauls the mail. It's very fast for a 550 four cylinder. Um, and it's comfortable. The bars are in just the right place. The mirrors don't vibrate. Uh, the, the windscreen keeps the air off your torso. So just a fantastic machine. I just took it for a nice rip before we did the video here to get to uh, get to know the bike a little bit better and I absolutely love it. I wish I could keep it. I say there's no way, there's no way I could afford to build a bike like this, like Randy did. I just couldn't do it. So somebody's going to capitalize on Randy's uh, neighbor above here. Hopefully it's you. This is an antique that I truly would get on and ride cross country tomorrow. It's smooth, fast, reliable. Everything works beautifully. Every light, every turn signal, every switch, everything on it works fantastic. So hop on Kenny, we'll go inside and I'll go over the uh, work order and receipts of what's been done to the bike. Um, basically, I guess it would be easier to say what hasn't been done to the bike. That's probably the easiest thing. And what hasn't been done is it has the original factory paint and gauges on it in the seat and the chrome on the fenders. Other than that, everything's been redone on this bike. Super smooth, far more powerful than any 550 has a right to be, uh, and definitely ahead of its time. This is 1980, this was the state of the art. fantastic bike, uh, one I would love to keep here in the museum, but um, we have a staff of 20 here and they need to get paid every Friday, so I can't keep them all. This is being sold to raise revenues for Kaplan Cycles and the New England Motorcycle Museum. So not only are you buying a piece of moto history, you're also helping support moto culture here. So let me go over the paper for this, which is absolutely fully documented. I have the uh, motor vehicle title, showing 11,000 miles on the odometer, and now has 16,500. I've got the previous registration. Come around the second, I'll go over the paperwork with it. Previous registration, uh, the DMV VIN verification. I have the original owner's manual in brand new condition, 37 years old. The uh, motorcycle operator manual, all this comes with it. Um, this is the second version of the popular cl classic GS550. Uh, it's a Japanese quality engineered inline four cylinder, 550 cc rated at 50 horsepower. Uh, this differs from the 550E by having an extended fork. Because it had the extended fork, it lended itself nicely to putting long travel rear shocks on it. So the thing is like, like, it's like a magic carpet floating down the road. 
This bike was kept in excellent shape over the past 37 years and only has 16,500 original miles. We have over $4,700, $750 worth of parts, just under $5,000 in receipts for the parts um, that were put into the restoration. And when we got the bike, we didn't have to do that much to it. We put a new battery in it, uh, and the turn signals, uh, bulbs were replaced, a couple of them, and we added the new Viper. This is a Viper, Viper Retro Cafe fairing. It's designed to be period correct for 1980. This is very similar to what you'd find on a Suzuki GS1000S. Um, the big brother to this bike right here. We added brand new mirrors, new drag handlebars, and new grips to give it a very aggressive cafe racer look and feel. We also added the 365 millimeter golden black nitrogen charged rear shocks. And look at the exhaust system on it. So look at the chrome up close, Kenny. Get in close and show them how clean this engine is. Show them how clean the chrome is on, on it. And look at the bottom of the frame rails because it's worth, it's, it's this, you don't get a 40 year old bike, 37 year old bike that looks like this unless it's been completely dismantled and carefully restored. Every square inch, take a peek at the bottom of the engine cases. It's just spectacularly clean. Um, this bike is sporty, fast, vibration free, comfortable, reliable, and it handles like a drink. It needs nothing at this point. It's sold with the title, the registration, the VIN verification form, everything I showed you. Um, so, and you also get a license, uh, a uh, Bill a sale from our license dealership. So a, a more fully documented GS5 that you're not going to find. Again, we put in, the previous owner put 300, I mean, this is borders on ludicrous, but 360 hours of labor he put into it. We put another 30 in, that's 390 hours of labor. Just to reiterate, at $90 an hour, that's 32,400 in labor that he put into it, plus 4,000 in parts. So if he paid a shop, if a shop would even take on a job like this, because most shops won't, um, you're talking about $36,000. So, uh, and then we put another 3700 into it between labor and parts. So over $40,000, which believe me, we don't expect to get that much back out of it. I'm just adding these facts so you understand how much time and effort it takes to completely restore a classic like this bike right here. Uh, when we got the bike, we wanted to confirm that, that it was done right. So we, we did a compression test on the bike right off Jump Street first thing, 150 PSI per cylinder, right on, right on, right on point. Spark is good, the plugs are brand new. Uh, we checked the flow bowls, inspect the fuel, and the bowls are clean as brand new. The fuel tank checked out beautifully clean. Everything was exactly how Randy had sent it. The air filters are brand new. Um, the carb intake rubber holders are brand new. Um, we actually put a new UASA battery in it because the battery uh, needed to be replaced. And um, did a visual inspection of the entire motorcycle and everything checked out perfectly. The only issue it had was a left meter backlighting bulb in the replace. So we put a new bulb in the left meter. So all of the bulbs on the dash, take a look at the dash on this thing. It's absolutely impeccable. If you're in collecting vintage, vintage Jap antique Japanese motorcycles, buy this bike. If you want a bike that's gonna go up in value, outpace the stock market, clearly this is a bike that's gonna go up in value. Because um, there's just none, nobody, nobody can afford to restore one of these the way this was done. So um, truly, truly, we could not have a shop. And here's, here's some of the receipts I have for the one I'll go with these with you in a second. Um, so the uh, there's just pages and pages and pages of, of receipts from Columbia Motorsport. Uh, we added all these up, all these parts receipts for all of the the components that were placed on the motorcycle, it added up to $4,043. And that's before we put roughly 750 into it between the pipe, the shocks, the bearing, the bars, all the things we did to it. So absolutely gorgeous, classic GS550, fully documented with a title. The bike needs absolutely nothing except for a new home. Whoever buys this bike is getting a, a major value because you're just not gonna find another one like it. And uh, it's really unique. To pull up on a brand new motorcycle is one thing, but to pull up on a 40 year old bike that looks brand new like this, this bike makes a statement. We'll make a statement everywhere you go. If you have any questions about the bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. If you want to come take a look at it, we can demo it for you anytime, have a mechanic look at it, whatever you want to do. There's nothing, this is, a, this is what I call a no excuses bike, a rare, occasion where I get to represent something that's absolutely stunning. Usually the, these antiques have, you know, brake issues or something like that. Everything's been thought of, everything's been done on this bike and it's spectacular. So, um, 
If you have any questions, give us a call. I'm going to roll it back into the museum, put her on display. Uh, there's a little bit of patina on the original gas tank. I want to point that out. Uh, um, the paint job's not perfect, but this is the original 40-year-old paint job, for a 37-year-old paint job for a bike with 16,500 miles. So truly was a well cared for bike, never abused. And Randy went over the top for his girlfriend, Wendy. And then we took it to the next level. We put another close to four grand into it. So um, just a fantastic machine. Good luck bidding on this bike. God bless America.